for your daily act of civil disobedience. There was a lot of fulminating because Hillary, one time late at night when she was exhausted, misstated and immediately apologized for it. What happened to her in Bosnia in 1995? Did y'all see all that? Oh, they blew it up, and you would have thought, you know, that she'd robbed a bank the way they all carried on about this. And uh, some of them, when they're 60, they'll forget something when they're tired at 11 o'clock at night. All right. First of all, it was 1996 rather than 95, which is a much different time frame in Bosnia. Uh, there was no immediate explanation or apology. It took uh, at least a week. And it didn't happen late at night just once. In fact, the first time we can find was back in December. Let's watch. Uh, we used to say in the White House that if a place was too dangerous, too small, or too poor, send the First Lady. So, you know, we landed in one of those corkscrew landings and ran out because they said there might be sniper fire. And then two months later, at uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I remember particularly a trip to Bosnia where... The welcoming ceremony had to be moved inside because of sniper fire. And then three weeks later, bright and early in the morning. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles uh, to get to our base. And later that same day. There was no greeting ceremony and we basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. What actually happened was leaving the plane and uh, strolling over to a rather extended greeting ceremony, uh, just contrary to the way Senator Clinton had explained it.